devoted chosen. Such misplaced zeal, their eyes remain closed to the true path. Not like you. Welcome back to another WoW gold making video. Today we'll be covering two dungeons that are legit good in gold making. Before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified when I release my new content and all the juicy gold guides. Alright guys, so before we get into this, it's going to be a versus series, so basically if you don't know what a versus series is, go check out in the description. It's basically where I put two things up against each other and see what is the best. But this is going to be a little bit different, and the reason why this is going to be a little bit different is because these two dungeons are very, very sought after and done. And the reason why I'm going to be doing something different is because a lot of people keep telling me, Sky Reach is the best, and you know, so forth, and blah, 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 and this and that. Not making fun of them. I never make fun of people, guys. But the whole point is that you got to have proof when it comes to actually saying this is the best, or that's the best, and so forth. So, today, we're going to have proof for this, and we're going to go over the rules. First and foremost, this has to be the dungeon only, okay? If you do the dungeon and you get like say you know cloth or so forth that's fine you can add that up with bracers so forth whatever you want to do second you cannot go somewhere else if you're locked out once you're locked out that's it the run's done and then you move on to the next dungeon now i do want to say guys when it comes to doing something else for sky reach or anything else you can actually do that on the side and make you know more gold and optimize your gold and that's where i know some people try to go you know come with a conversation and say well that's where the extra gold comes from and that's why sky reach is the best well honestly there's other things that you could do that is exact same thing as sky reach and we're not going to get into that but that could be for another video but let's get into these two dungeons let's go with these dungeons by themselves what they drop and see who is the best the first on our list is gonna be sky reach all right guys so with sky reach i do want to say right now that it took me 30 minutes to do this now don't get me wrong you could probably do this in 20 minutes if you're fast but it's the average person is gonna be 30 minutes and i got a total of 4686 gold now that's 3061 from greens and epics and at 1625 just from trash and gold drops this is not bad for someone who just wants to come in here and can do this now this is something that you as a max player should be able to do and if you're a new player and you can't do any of the bfa um you know just dungeons just come down here and do this it's not bad i'm not saying it's good or you know like the best but it's not bad at all 4686 is great now if if you take into consideration again we're not counting it the next 30 minutes you go and do something in legion and do the spots i've showed you yes you can optimize this and probably get about 8,000, 7,000, so forth now with that said this was not going to be a long video so the guys i just want to tell you the whole totals what i did and so forth and i got the total of 10 runs per hour now don't get wrong the next dungeon is going to be an hour and it's all in an hour guys remember hour runs are what we're actually looking at so let's get into the next dungeon all right, guys, so this is going to be the last dungeon, and it's going to be Freehold, something I showed you on my channel many times. You're going to get a total of 7,877 gold. If you take out the tailoring, if you don't have tailoring, it's going to be about 5,300 per hour. Now, the guys, I do understand that you can make the argument and going with Guy Reach and say, oh, well, I can go do something else in the meantime. Yes, you can. But again, this is just putting both dungeons together and fighting it out. Even if you, you know, don't like it, the outcome of it, you got to say freehold is just so amazing. And to those who say, well, I can't do freehold because my eye level, it, it, that's not an excuse, okay? The, the whole point is that you can actually go here at 420 plus and actually do freehold as long as you're someone who can survive. Demon Hunters are the best to do this because Demon Hunters just leech so much. It's so easy. I was doing this at 425, 420, somewhere around that. It was just so easy before all the, uh, you know, buffs and so forth. Before we even got the, you know, the, the Twilight Devastation and so forth, which helps a lot. And, of course, with the, the Iris. Now, with that said, guys, I do want to say right now that both of these are good. They both have potential. First off, Sky Reach, you can go for 30 minutes, get that done, go to Legion Spots I showed you, just do that, make another 4,000, boom, 8,000 gold. Yes, it's amazing. Then you can go to Freehold and do all Freehold, get relevant content greens, get relevant content epics, and so forth, and still make a little bit off the auction house. Now, with that said, guys, everybody needs to make that gold, okay? In the time of need right now, we need to make that gold and have a great way to make that gold. Even though I think that Freehold is great and it's better than Sky Reach, or you might think Sky Reach is great and it's better than Freehold, we all make gold. We all win. It doesn't matter. So with that said, guys, if you like content like this, if you want to see more content than just one or two videos a week, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, comment, check out my Patreon if you want to. And I want to say thank you so much to my Patreons out there for staying true. And honestly, I know it's a hard time and, you know, I suspected some of the go, but, you know, y'all stay there for the Mustache Army. And we got a lot of stuff coming to you guys. We always give packs every month to our Patreons, especially in this time of needs. We're going to start giving wild tokens. I have so much gold, guys. I want to give it back to y'all. I want y'all to have some wild time. I know some people can't pay it. Yeah, my $15 might not be a lot to people or some people actually might be a lot now. 
But I got you guys. I'm going to make you all that gold. I'm going to show you the best things we can. And with that said, guys, like always, I want to say thanks so much to my Patreon and stay stashy.